Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, we're Thought Bubble 2023. So for those of you that don't know, um, Thought Bubble is a comic convention that I've been going to since I was like seven and a half. Um, and every year we have a table and I make comics and I sell them and art and stuff like that. So we're currently in the hotel and yeah, so breakfast is at seven tomorrow, which means I have to get up at like six, but it's fine. And then we go down to the convention center and we set everything up and doors open at 10. So I'm very, very excited and the kettle's on. So if you can hear that, I apologize. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys later. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Currently 20 to 7 in the morning. Um, I'm wearing just as you can see. Um, but it's still at I'm very, very excited, if you can tell. Ignore the state of my hair. I need to actually do something with it. We need to get ready. So I'm gonna do that and talk. So it is day one of the level. And basically the plan is we get down to the convention centre, we set everything up, some people went last night, but we were all tired and hungry, so we just came in and had something to eat. Um, and yeah, we're done, we set up and we chill. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm planning to get this year because I'll display everything. So if you've seen my room for videos, and um, by videos I mean like two, I have a lot of stuff on my wall and 90% of it is like prints and art and stuff that I've bought from Thought Bubble. But I have no wall space anymore, which I will do a room tour at some point. That's not really what I'm looking for this year. Unless there's like something that I really like, like, I don't know, Good Omens or Star Trek or whatever, then I'll buy it, obviously. I don't really know what I'm looking for this year, so it's, it's kind of a new one. I'm very, very excited. And so what I'm selling is, I suppose I'll show you around right now. So I have three comics that I've made, like, Printed. I've made more in the past, but they're not like proper ones. Transition is the first one which I made in 2021. Yeah. Um, it was about a trans kid called Flint. And it's, I, it was supposed to, I was supposed to do more issues, but I just never got around to it. So there's only that, but people like it. So, um, And then got Run 1 and 2, which is the most recent ones. So Run number 1 I did last year, Run number 2 I came this year. I'm really proud of Run number 2, it's a lot better than the first one. Um, but it's kind of like, it's about this assassination organisation thing that I made up when I was in school at some point, I don't really know. And I was just like doodling and I came up, came up with it. And yeah, it's, I won't like spoil too much because you can, all the links and stuff will be in the description. You can get the digital version, you can order a print, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, if you'll be following me on Instagram, you'll know kind of some of the stuff that's happening. I don't really post a lot because I want to keep a lot of it like, not secret, but not too public until it comes out. Um, but I'll be posting a lot more of it now that it's available. Yeah, you can visit the Gumroad, which I'll link in down there. So I'm selling prints, um, which no one really buys. <laughs> and I guess it's not really, I buy loads of prints, but that's just me because I have space for my wall. So I don't really know what the consensus around buying prints is, but it's got badges as well and clay frogs, which you'll see later. Um, I love the clay frogs. People love the clay frogs, I'm not even joking. The last year, it was like five minutes till closing. Someone runs up to the table, it's like, can I buy one of your frogs? And I'm like, absolutely, yes you can. Um, so they're very, very cute. I love them. So yeah, that's all of all this year. So yeah, that is everything. I think I haven't missed anything out, but we have a really cool display, it's like these like grids, um, which we only got last year, but everyone is kind of like the standard, I guess, and everyone kind of has one, so it's like these square grids, and you kind of set them up, and they stand up on their own, and then you can put like lights around them, and vines, and it's all very, very um, cool. If it's the aesthetic of like everything, I guess. Um, the plan right now is to go down to breakfast, and then come out here, get food, and then we will head down and set everything up. Hi! So we are officially at Thought Bubble. It's my banner. Um, I didn't film set up because it's really uh, tedious and it, you, it wouldn't look great on camera. So we have these really cool exhibitor passes. This is this is like the first year that they've done this. It's really cool with like the the dragon design, which is this year's uh, logo. I have a tote bag. 
I love it. And I didn't get a tote bag last year because um, they, they sell out really, really quickly. So I guess I should show you around the setup then. So this is like frog land. This is where the frog stuff happens. So this is the clay frogs, my babies, and then my mum's squishy key rings. Um, my prints are all like lined up here. My badges, got the pronoun badges and the pride badges and prints. Prints. Uh, we've got run issue one, transition issue one, and then run issue two, which is the new one. This is my baby. I love this so much. And then on my dad's side, we have red eye, which is really good if you want to get the digital version or print or whatever. I love it so much. Um, we've got Aphelion ash cans, which are like the previews. This one you can get a sketch with the cover. This one's just like the regular cover. It's really, really good. Um, and this is my dad's portfolio with all the beautiful art that he does. Yeah, and these are our banners. It's, it's really, really, really cool. So we're in Red Shirt Hall. Uh, road D, table 60 something? What table are we? No idea. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really, really, really cool. It's filling up really quickly. Everyone's setting up. And yeah, I'm so incredibly excited. I haven't done my, my, my laps yet. Usually before it opens, you go around to see what people are selling. I haven't even been in uh, Bulvoid. There's a new hall this year, distillery, which, um, like there's that many people, we have to have a new hall. Uh, usually it's just three halls. Red Shirt, which is this one. Uh, Bull Boy and Comicsology, but new one. So it's really, really, really exciting. Yeah, so I guess I should have a little wander around and see what kind of stuff I can find. I've been doing a lot of sketching. We have Mr. Freddy Fazbear and Spring Trap. I haven't actually bought anything yet. You guys must be so proud of me. Like, I remember last year, or the year before, I spent about 60 quid in the first hour. I, I, I'm not even kidding, I save up all year for this. This is my like, this is my like one day. One day, one weekend a year, where I get to buy really cute stuff with absolutely no restrictions at all. But I'm gonna go around in a bit and I will bring you with me so you can see everything. These are the frogs. These two needed to air out a bit more because the Mod Podge was still like drying somehow. I think it was how cold it was. I don't really know what happened. It's so cute. I think I should put them on the actual display. That might help. So day one of Football 2023 is over and I'll be honest, it was super, super busy and I didn't Usually I do like at least three wonders about, um, but I didn't really get to walk about and do anything until about two o'clock um, because I kept, it was just so busy. Like I kept saying, oh, like I'll go when it dies down and then it never died down. So I just got off and decided to go. <laughs> I bought stuff. So this is a little haul of, of day one, I guess. So first off, I mean the tote bag. This is the like official design for this year so cute i wasn't big on the color scheme at first and then it grew on me and i'm like i mean i love the design i just thought like i didn't really like it and then now i love it so i don't know i'll just pull whatever out so i got another tote bag <laughs> this is from a comic called after the robot apocalypse it's really really cool it was between this and like a beige canvasy one uh, but i have a lot of them so i thought i don't really have any black tote bags we have that at least my hair is it's gone up gone frizzier as the day has gone on so ignore that next up i don't really know if i should show this because i don't know if lily's gonna see this but lily if you're seeing this hi skip because this is your birthday present well it's not really this is the card um I've, i was looking for birthday cards anyway and then i picked this one out it says cheers old boy it's a pigeon it's really cute and then i was saying like oh you know i'm dropping for my friend's birthday and the artist was like, oh, hey, have a free sticker so she can match. And I was like, 
thank you. So that was really, really nice. Um, I can't remember how much that was. The tote bag was five pound. Well, it was eight pound. And I was talking to um, the artist and he was like, oh, you can have it for five. And I was like, really? I don't know. I can't remember. The, I, I'm so terrible with names. I and M. I'm assuming that's I. Thank you very much for that. I appreciated that. Uh, I've got a lot of business cards. This was like, I was not expecting this. So there are these Minecraft graphic novels and I got one like ages and ages and ages ago. And it was really, really, really cool because the story isn't just like, it's on Minecraft, it's the players, like the kids who are doing it up. Like you see them inside Minecraft and you see them outside of Minecraft as well, like their lives outside of the game. And it's really, really, really cool. The art style is amazing. And it's by Sarah Grayley. And I had the first one and I went up to the table and I was there and I was like, I recognize that art style. And then turns out it was, you know, I didn't see the Minecraft um, stuff at first. And then it was there and it was, oh, it was amazing. The Sarah was lovely and, and, and her partner as well. Uh, I think, I forget the name of, um, but they were both so incredibly kind. And I was talking to them about how much I love the first one. So I bought the second and the third one. Um, they were eight pound each, so 16 quid altogether, which was really, really amazing. Sarah signed it for me on, on both of them as well. And she drew like a little cute microfi stuff inside. So it was really lovely. I'm so happy with that. What else? Okay. Again, Lily, Jordan and Millie skip this one because uh, I got these for you. I came across this graphic novel by Chris As Askham. I think I'm saying that right. Um, called You Grow Up. And I've never seen this before. Uh, my dad knows them apparently. There's like a big stack of them and it said like, oh, they're all one pound. And I was like, that must be something else. That must be mistake because this like full, like, look at that. Like all this, so like it wasn't like a preview or anything. It's like the full thing, one pound. And I'm like, is that true? So I'm, I'm flicking through it and I'm reading some of it and I'm like, this is really, really cool. And I'm like, there's no way this is one pound. So I was like, oh, is, are they genuinely one pound or is that like a mistake or something? And he's like, oh no, it's just cause like, so it was his old, uh, you're saying it's like his old work from like seven, eight years ago, which I genuinely couldn't tell. Like if he hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. Cause it's really, really good. And he was like, you know, I'm just, this is the last deck. I'm just kind of trying to make space, I guess. And I was like, I get it, like fair enough. And then I was like, this is a weird question, but can I buy four? Um, cause I was going to get one anyway, cause they're amazing, but. I genuinely hadn't, you know, didn't think they were actually gonna be a pound. So I did buy four of them. And then these three, because Millie, Jordan, Lily, this is definitely what kind of stuff that you guys would like. And I got one for myself, obviously. But so you guys get these. Um, I should have gotten them to sign them. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so very happy with that. I love the, the concept and the store and the art style. It's really, really, really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy. I wasn't really planning on getting any, any graphic novels except for the microphones, but I thought really good price, obviously. One pound's insane. And it's really, really good. And apparently it's good as well because I think my dad's read it. So, and I trust his judgment. And then this was like a free poster thing. That was pretty cool. Oh my God, I can't remember the name of the artist. Why can't, I'm not very good at this, am I? Okay, so the next couple of little things I got, these were all a quid, I think. Um, and just little badges because if you know me, you know I love badges and I get some every year. This one, um, I don't know what it is, but it's cool. It's like some, it's like a person with a tree head. I don't know. It's cool though, so I got it. There's this one which says, it's a little bit bigger. It says, uh, I don't even know if that'll be backwards, but it says, uh, just kidding, haha, unless. I don't know why I wanted to get that. It, this is cool, so it's mine now. This is like a little dog wolf thing kind of watercolory style somewhat similar not from the same artist i don't think but same style ish i got a frog cowboy sticker because frog cowboys that's literally everything i thought i bought more, bought more than that so yeah that is day one i have so many more things to buy i've made a mental note of a good couple of tables that i wanted to go back to so i'm almost selling good omens comics which is insane and i will happily take all of them i still have a few more birthday presents to get which should be really really fun it's been it's been a really really good day we sold a lot of comics um had some 
really good chats with a lot of really amazing people. So the plan for tonight then is dinner, then the midcom party, which I'm very excited for and I don't know if I'm gonna film, probably not. I need to film some more stuff tomorrow because I don't really film a lot. I'm very happy, very fun. So I will see you. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. You'll find out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. Day two of Thought Bubble 2023. Ignore the state of my hair. Yeah, so I'm, it's probably going to be slower today than it was yesterday. I still have a couple things. I mean, I only really got to walk around once yesterday. And I didn't film a lot of it, so I will film more today. Yeah, I didn't really get to walk around because it was really busy all the time. And I did walk around eventually, but it took me like 15 minutes to get from like the end of one row to the next for some reason. Um, it was just really packed, very busy. But I bought, obviously, saw what I bought yesterday. Um, so just a couple more presents for friends that I need to get, and then just whatever I, I wanna buy, I guess. But the comics are doing really, really well, which I'm very happy with. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really, really fun. Got the lanyard again. I love this so much. They should do this every year. Got the badges as well. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, but to be honest. Lately background music can set here. It's incredibly dull and monotonous. <laughs> so we've just dropped our suitcases off and you guys got a lovely little song. Um, the I Hate Ukulele. <laughs> the I Hate Ukulele song. Um, it's very cold. Like you can literally... Okay, well you can't see it, but I can see it with my breath. And I'm not wearing my hoodie. Which I... I have it in my bag, I just... I can't be bothered putting it on. So, I don't know. I'll show you some of where we were staying. It's very lovely. It's very like autumnal. It's quite cute. It's a ukulele music, ukulele music. So, like, just to give you an idea of how close we are, literally that's the convention center right there. But, like, we're just always really, really close every year. It's really nice because it means you don't have to walk very far, especially when we were carrying, like, the equipment and stuff. But, I mean, we get to go down earlier this year. This year? What am I about? Today, rather. Because, uh, obviously, we already have everything set up yesterday. The queue is always massive for some reason, like, outside, like, non-exhibitors. Non so, it's, it's really cool. like the original print that we did in like 2021. Um, people seem to really, really like it. Like, I don't particularly like it just because I think the art style that I did wasn't great, but people like it, people like it, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, so I need to, but we have like loads of run and run number two, so I need to sign all the other, like the new runs that we just got out. So I need to do that. Thing is, I don't know where the sharpies are. Oh wait, are these already signed? Right, these two are, we need to find the ones that aren't.
thing. I have moss on my sleeve. Um, I was debating putting the frogs away because last time someone came up like two minutes before I ended and bought a frog, so leaving this little guy out. All alone. Put him away. But I need to put the display away and the moss is everywhere and I need to hairspray it again, but I didn't think of that before I left, so it's a bit of a mess right now. exhibitors everyone who has helped put this year together there were so many more people this time um, I swear there was four there was like four rows in each hall maybe more that's not a thing that used to happen so it was it was really really lovely you can't see me at all uh, so right now we're just going back to the car to make the journey home I think we're getting McDonald's all the way back so you can't even see me. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hi. So everything you just saw was last weekend. It's officially been exactly one week since the whole oh, Yeah, I've just been tidying my room because it was an absolute tip. But I realized I never actually did a haul of Sunday and everything I got on Sunday. So I'm gonna do that now. I used the double wall tote bag instead of the other one that I got the second day so I can keep everything in, in one place basically. So I'm just gonna pull whatever out and yeah. I mentioned that someone was doing Good Omens comics. So I got this one. Um, this was kind of, it, from what I saw on the table, this was the only one that was like an actual comic. Uh, the other ones were like kind of bits and pieces I guess, still super super cool but um, I read this one on the Saturday, came back for it on the Sunday. I love it so much. It's so cute. It's called Tartan and Starlight. And it's everything. It's amazing. I got this graphic novel called Souvenir uh, by Ivy Ray Robinson and Flo Woolley. They signed it for me, which was really lovely. And it's so cool. It's like about this spy and a mentor. And I just thought like the concept in that was really, I don't know, really similar to like Run as well. So, and I love that kind of stuff. So I thought like, I'm gonna get this and I'm definitely gonna read it. And the art style is so cool. Like, look at that. It's so cool. I love it. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited to read it. Now, I kind of said to myself I wasn't gonna get any prints because, of, you know, you can see the background. I don't really have a lot of space left. But I saw this on the most table and I thought it was really, really cool. I don't even know what it is. It's just, um, yeah, so I wanted to buy it and I did. I got a Dalek sticker as well for one pound which I thought was so cute and this is going on one of my sketchbooks. Okay, a couple things in here are presents. Um, so I'm gonna not, even though I showed uh, Lily and Jordan's, but um, yeah, I'm gonna save that. I got this really cute ghost sticker for my girlfriend. Part one of her present, uh, which she'll get like next time I see her, so. And then I got these cat stickers that were actually just so cute. Like, look at that, oh my God. This one is a Good Omens badge because good omens, you know. Got this cute little ghost badge. And this one, which I thought was so cute. It says you are enough on it, it's really cute. And then this one's a really small badge, but it's like a cute pink thing. I'm not sure, it's cute, I don't, I don't know. And then last but definitely not least, I was not gonna leave without getting some actual Thought Bubble stuff. So I spent the last of my money on a Thought Bubble pin, 
And then the cup. I was so dead set on getting the cup because it has the dragon on it and it says Thought Bubble 2023 on it. Very, very happy with everything that I bought and um, yeah, God, it's been so, 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 so amazing. We definitely spent last week recovering from it all, but it's been a really good experience and I'm very, very excited for next year because I'm already planning stuff. So thank you so, so much for watching and I promise I will post more soon. But yeah, thank you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.